Hey there, baby. Hello, and welcome to Relax Mel. Today, we're going to be reviewing a sleeping bag. Um, it is uh, the middle of January, but um, it is a nice enough day, and it's supposed to be a, a cool enough night. We're going to try out this bad boy. This guy is the Coleman Oak Point sleeping bag. Uh, it's for the big and tall guys. Apparently, this puppy is about up to, supposed to fit guys up to six foot four. I'm six foot two, so I should have, be able to bury my head in about two inches and, and be quite well. Um, this is... Um, according to what the box and all the packaging, we'll go around, around the box on it first. Um, right up here, and we'll hold, see if I can hold this without dropping. <laughs> but anyhow, as you can see, it says it's about a 30. The, the Coleman Comfort range on this is a 30 to 50 degree Fahrenheit uh, sleeping bag. So it's supposed to be, you know, on the on the cool side of things. It's not cold. You're not going to be uh, uh, in the sub-zero temperatures and be able to sleep in this puppy. But you're supposed to be, supposed to be comfortable. But uh, for everything I've ever seen, people have a hard time really understanding what those... Uh, what those numbers mean. So I'm going to find out what does the 30 to 50 uh, uh, temperature range mean. And so tonight we're supposed to be getting around uh, 40. So we'll be sitting right in the middle of that puppy, which is supposed to be comfort. Uh, it's supposed to be for the co uh, a comfortable range. So we're going to be about 38, 40 degrees. Uh, and so I figured, heck, let's go ahead and let's try this puppy out. Let's see what's going on. So I have to pitch my wonderful tent. So anyhow, but this is a cool weather sleeping bag. Um, it's supposed to have a patented no snag zipper, which, all right, that's good. Uh, nothing like trying to get into a sleeping bag and the zipper snags on everything. Uh, it's supposed to be also be a, uh, a way to make uh, a roll control, which makes rolling the bag up easier. Don't know what that means. We're going to be finding that out. Um, also, there's a no tie uh, patented enclosure. Honestly, I have no clue what that means. Um, so, but also, uh, it's machine washable, and uh, you can actually even zip it together. So you can actually breed your sleeping bags, or make the sleeping bags together. So, woohoo! Um, the, uh, according to the top here, the, uh, the label that you're not supposed to be able to uh, remove, but they printed it on there, so I guess it's next to impossible to remove. So I won't be breaking the law. Of course, I am the customer, so now I... <laughs> so, but anyhow, um, it is the, it's supposed to have, uh, the outside is going, supposed to be uh, polyester. It's supposed to be uh, uh, made by some gal named Polly, polyester. And the inside is actually supposed to be a cotton flannel, so, which is really good, because the inner sh uh, lining is... You know, you come across these less expensive ones where they've got that really slick uh, uh, nylon feel. And also, nylon kind of is, feels too cool for me. I've laid on top of nylon. I've had some nylon sleeping bags before. And when I was little, and they, they feel cold to me. So I really do like a good flannel uh, lining, inside lining. The outside uh, polyester, I'm not really going to be uh, sleeping on top of sleeping bags tonight. So I'll be inside. So uh, we're going to be trying that out. So let's go ahead. Let's open this thing up and let's see what we have. So, crack, 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 and dump out. There we go. It's a, oh, so, let's see if I can figure out what, ah, there we go. Is that sticky stuff. It's a ran ran. So, there we go. All right. Now, we have that all undone, and we have, looks like, a set of, okay. Well, that's a nice way to do it. It is just hooked on by, you got a little hook that, connects to here so maybe that's what they were meaning about a no tie system could be wrong because so that's i guess that's what they mean by the no tie system it's supposed to just all right so what i'm doing is what i'm looking at here is like a sheep shake almost where you put it in there and it binds uh you have enough pressure pulling down on this that it binds up onto on the cord and so it's not supposed to slip as easily but um i don't know so, i'm not going to say that it does or it doesn't because well first time me doing of me doing it it uh didn't work too terribly well. Anyhow, so they also give you directions on how you're supposed to actually tie this up. So it is a roll-up that has no ties. It's just got a, a hook and uh, and a loop that holds everything. Now, like I said, the outside is a, it's a polyester. It's just that plastic uh, plastic material that uh, that a lot of sleeping bags, parachutes, other things happen to have. The inside is this nice cotton, uh, rather... I was actually going to open. I had the one, got the one with the elks on it, but I didn't. So but anyhow, this uh, nice, comfortable uh, uh, flannel uh, inner lining. Uh, See so here, we got this. This is a limited five-year warranty. You get a five-year warranty with a puppy. And uh, so you have a pocket for putting your phone or something else, maybe a heater, a light, something like that, um, in there. Here is their patented zipper. It's just it looks like a zipper, and but it's really big. So that's probably what they're meaning about it's not going to snag because it's, it acts as what, what a lot of people do with a finger. And it gets everything out of the way as they're zipping up. So uh, you got a big fat, uh, it's not a brass zipper, it is a, it's a plastic zipper. So I'm um, not 100% sure on the rugged, rugged ability of that. So, but anyhow, that's, that's what we have. Let's see if I can uh, kind of hold this uh, big guy up. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
Uh, it's weight wise, um, it's got some bulk to it. It feels it feels like it's going to be fairly comfortable. Um, this is meant for more of a uh, of just you're not going you're not going light, ultra light backpacking with this puppy because this guy is. You know, I've got two zippers, which is always good. Um, but a place for your there's a hole at the end, which um, if you're going deep woods camping in this puppy, uh, may not be a good thing because. That's just big enough for a little snake to come sliding into there and make for life to be really interesting. So, <laughs> of course, that's just my uh, my line of thinking of what it could or could not. Um, we've got uh, a, uh, a cleat right there. I don't know what that cleat is for, so let's keep looking here and let's see. Um, no, there's nothing else in there. I don't know what the cleat's for. That's, that's interesting. Um, there's a tag. What do we have here? This is, uh, oh, same thing. Under penalty of law, uh, all new material consisting of 100% polyester fiber. Okay, so the, the lining on here, it's a fiber, it's a polyester batting, um, which, okay, uh, you could definitely make that a lot more, uh, a lot more insulating by using, hell, just cotton. <laughs> but, uh, but anyhow, they're, they're using a polyester batting on here, so it, uh, we'll see how well that works. Maybe that's, okay, wait a minute. So that's what, that and that was on that side. Oh, okay. That's the okay. The you know, I was telling you, don't know what in the world the uh, roll control making rolling easier. Okay, you got your cleat, you got uh, your loop right here, which is it's right there. You slide, slide, it's supposed to be really easy, huh? So it holds the ends together so that while you're rolling it up, you don't get the uh, the sleeping bag that goes and starts sliding apart because you know your outside is actually a, of a longer distance than the inside so things get a little sideways to put, put it in a good way so anyhow so that's what that's their easy roll control it's just that's a cleat and loop system that uh helps you stay tied now once you if you were to use this in the middle of the night though and you're trying to get that undone good luck um, <laughs> so all right but uh, that might actually come in really handy. We'll have to try that out when, uh, in the morning because I'll be sleeping in here tonight. And you're going to be joining me, joining with me. So uh, there we go. That's the first half of uh, this review. And the next will be here in just about three shakes of lamps down. All right. Um, so as of right now, uh, you're ready to go to bed. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, fix my crawl in. Um, I'm going to start off with um, just shorts and a T-shirt and go up from there. So um, I can kind of tell. It's already colder than what the uh, uh, what they were predicting, so this might end up being kind of interesting. So I'm going to and snag the, uh, another blanket so I can throw on top if that's needed. So, uh, and if I still get too cold and I have to bail and I go and I decide to puss out and go head into the house, we'll do that because I'm doing this in the backyard. So <laughs> anyhow, folks, um, here we go. Um, if I wake up sometime in the middle of the night, I will be adding to uh, to this and giving you my insights. All right. So wish me luck. Catch you later. All right. Well. We'll get up here in just a short moment ago, just, and temperature's a little warmer, but uh, toes are still going to get a little chilled, uh, so, well, uh, that's, that's what we've got here at the moment, so anyhow, let's see what else I can do to, to kind of help warm me up a little bit, because, yeah, toes are cold. <laughs> All right, and yeah, we're working, we got timer going. Okay, so today uh, we've done our night, done, slept through the night. As you can tell, it's uh, it, the, the insulation qualities on this are a little lacking. They need to be uh, worked on just a lot <laughs> for a 30 degree. And I'm a warm natured person, so for that to actually uh, be something says uh, says a lot. So, but anyhow, so let's see how everything else uh, works on uh, on rolling up. So make sure your zipper is all the way up. Now, as we noticed before, we have these cleats. And we have a couple of cleats stuck out through here. We now know what those are for. That is, you take a uh, cleat, and there's a loop on the other end. Well, we got wind, so my tent is trying to uh, trying to get put up, put itself up. So you have one, and you have another one on this side. And so like that. So don't worry, you've got everything all lined up. Back so y'all can see what's going on. So anyhow, as you see, cleat holds everything together. Cleat and loop holds everything together. So now, on the open side, that will tell me that it is time to start rolling. 
which is not any, not difficult at all. All right. You then have your little loop again around here, and then let's come up close with this. So you have a hook and the string that it loops around. So you loops around here, and you just get it as tight as you can, hook it on. And it puts it in enough of a bind that it holds everything together. So there you go. You got to roll it up. All right, rolling is very, very easy. I like that. That is one of the easiest rolls I've ever done. So uh, the Coleman uh, sleeping bag here, I like it. Um, uh, just well, one because well, I finally got a sleeping bag again. So I'm going to be a little partial, but for a general purpose, let's uh, let's go. Uh, actually, I'm going to say I did that backwards because that's a really weird way of holding that. So let's. If I go this and let's turn it through like that. But just hold it down a little better. Okay, well, anyhow. <laughs> so, anyhow, there you go. That is a great bag. Uh, I'm not going to say 30 degrees. Uh, I would honestly say you might be comfortable with this at about 45 degrees up to maybe about 65. Um, I think if they were to put a little bit better, higher quality uh, batting in here, you'd probably get closer to that uh, that, uh, that 30 degree mark they're talking about. But right now for just a general use, uh, same